What's up guys? So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys and uh, it's one you've been asking for for a little bit so I figured why not give it to you. So today we're going to be checking out my entire Pokemon collection. So let's get into it. So starting off this is going to be like a regular kind of video. So let's pick the camera up and see what everything here is about. So to start off I guess I'll show you guys kind of oh geez I'm not used to holding the camera like this. I'll show you kind of what I see on a day-to-day -day kind of basis. So like behind the camera. So here's the setup. I'll flip this around right here. So yeah, so here's the setup. Again, it's a little bit messy. I haven't cleaned it up. I have a couple cards sitting there in a building battle stadium. But uh, yeah, so usually I'll sit behind here, open the packs up. And again, my big ring light is right here. And uh, yeah, so, and then beside it is a couple empty ETBs that I'm gonna use for storage. And I'll kind of explain how I go about storing cards uh, in a little bit once I kind of get there. But yeah, so this is kind of the filming setup. It's nothing too crazy. It's actually my old desk I used to use for my computer. And I actually used to keep my Lego on it. And oh, there's, hi Bruno. Yeah, so, um, uh, uh, what are, you, what are you doing in here? Anyways, I guess Bruno's gonna hang out here while we do the collection video. And now I figure we can actually kind of move on to the cool stuff. As you can see, kind of behind me is my Lego and Pokemon shelf. So I've kind of combined both of them. I used to primarily use it for Lego, but uh, as I started collecting more and more Pokemon and as the channel's been doing pretty well, I've had to kind of adapt it and improvise. So let's check it out and see what I got. So I guess we'll start with the Lego first. So up here is kind of a miscellaneous uh, Star Wars shelf. And then down here is kind of my three favorite Star Wars sets. So I have obviously the Slave one, and this is actually a cool story from MNR Productions. I don't know if you, anyone watches Lego videos, but I actually got that on Whatnot from him, along with my Anakin Starfighter that I did modify to make it a little more movie accurate. And then probably one of the prized jewels of my collection, the 2013 Republic gunship. And again, a couple of the parts have been swapped out just because of yellowing and I've just kind of wanted to keep it as good looking as possible, but it is pretty nice. Below that is the Pokemon shelf, but we will come back to that. I'll show you down here, which is my two newest editions, and that will be the Optimus Prime, and then the Discovery Space Shuttle right there, pretty nice. And now on to what you guys all want, the Pokemon. So in here to start, this side of the shelf, I kind of try to keep, and it's getting a little overwhelmed as of recently, the stuff I'm gonna use for new videos. So as you can see in here, I'm just gonna kind of give away my uh, what I'm doing. So I have two mystery power boxes here mystery power cubes I guess they're called so I'm gonna be using those for a video and then behind that if we can move these out of the way is if we can get it to focus so this actually is a cool video I've been working on for a long 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 time now and as you can see it's a lot of packs 17 in total and that right there guys is one of every pack in the sword and shield generations so that video is gonna be coming up pretty soon along with one of the Flareon tins that I got from Costco again I said I was saving one of them I ended up opening up the ETB but I uh, didn't get anything too crazy out of it a couple empty tins that I use for storage and behind these ones in here if I can move them without everything falling so these two are empty and then in all four of these behind there I either use for energies or like uh, extra code cards so that, those are all full, which is pretty neat. I won't show them off because they're not too exciting. But putting the tins back, we can move on to the more cool stuff. So I'll take this out first because there's a lot of cool stuff in here and I'll set that to the side because we'll check that out in a minute. And then here are my two binders. So the yellow one is actually Lost Origin and I'm getting pretty close. I think it's, it's we're down to 20 cards that I need. And I have a cool announcement to make at the end of this video about Lost Origins and a cool Pokemon video. So you guys can stay tuned for that. And then this one is kind of like my, my bulk hits binder that I keep everything that I don't really have a specific home for. It's like all my good full arts, alternate arts, all that stuff is in here. So we'll check that out too. And then in terms of bulk storage, I keep them all in here. So I use all the ETBs and uh, build and battle stadiums. And then like I have some bulk card boxes. So as you can see up top here, that's AR. So that would be Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest, uh, Brilliant Stars. And I think these ones are just kind of miscellaneous and bulk down there. I haven't checked it in a little bit. And then behind there, I don't know if you can see, there is another row. And again, that's all just like bulk and random cards. Up top, I have a lunchbox that I opened in the uh, the convenience store video, I believe. And I haven't really used it for anything. I've just kind of kept it here because it is, it might make good storage. I don't really know. But yeah, in terms of bulk and just random cards, that's kind of my collection. And the funny thing is, is over here too, and all of the things, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but in all of these, they're actually full of each set. So like that one is all Evolving Skies, all Lost Origins, and then all uh, Crown Zenith. And then the one down here is actually more like just uh, black and white and then X and Y cards. And then that's Astral. And then if you can see behind there, that is all Chilling Rain. So I figure now I'll show off my binders and you guys can check out all the cool stuff and, and basically the meat of my collection, like where all the really good juicy cards are that I've been saving over my whole time collecting. So let's check it out. So flipping into the Lost Origins binder first, and I am gonna try to do this 
one-handed as well as I can. And I'm gonna, I don't know how bad the glimmer from the ring light above, so I might have to kind of adjust it here. But yeah, this is just my full set of Lost Origins, and again, I have pretty much it all done, except for, and I'll go pretty fast, because some of the cards in here, like, some of them are pretty cool, but there are a lot of just, like, kind of plain cards that make up, like, the bulk of the collection, I guess you could say, and again, the lighting on here is getting a little frustrating. I'll try to, I'm sorry about the glare, it's just the way the ring light works, but yeah, so the, all the psychics on these pages, as well as all the fighting types, and Amorous up there, Aerodactyl V and V-Star, if you can see that. And over here, more pages in there as well. Flipping to the next one, and then some of my favorite cards, the, even the regular V Giratina and the Giratina V-Star. Along with some of the other pages, the Drapion up there. We'll kind of flip through here, Gudra V-Star, Pidgeot. Now we're going to start getting into some of the good stuff. So here are all the full arts that I have from these set so far. So we have the Kyurem up there, the Alternate Art Rotom, which I actually bought recently. And again, I have a cool story about that card that's going to be at the end of the video along with that announcement. My Preserker Alternate Art, the Gallade other Preserker, my Giratina in the short I pulled, and again, this card is something to do with the announcement, so stick around for that, and uh, I hope you know what that card is, but if you get assumed by what card is next to it, I think you guys will know what's coming. And then here's some of the Full Art Trainers along with that. I'm getting close to finishing them off, and now we're going to get into the nice stuff, some of the Rainbow Rares. So these two I actually bought, this one I pulled on the Booster Box video, I think, and then in here, a bunch of other ones. I did, and I'm trying to remember if I, yes, I bought that one in the flea market video. Again, you buy so many cards, and this page is honestly probably my favorite from the set so far, until I get some another card that I think you guys know. So, a lot of the rainbow rares, and I have now every one of the gold cards in these set. And then, moving on to the trainer galleries, obviously the Charizard here, that one's awesome. Pikachu as well, and then obviously some more back here. Getting on to some of the final pages of the binder. See the Spirit Tomb, Snorlax, Cast Form up there, or Beetle. Sent to Scorch, the big Chonky Chew VMAX card. And I do have the other gold card, but that's on the other page. Gallade, Crobat. This this boss's orders card is awesome. I love this card so much. It's, it's just with the cinder on it, so cool. And then, as you guys can see, I did do the energies and then the two big gold cards that I did by the Chonky Chew recently. And then the Nessa and Opal card along with the Mew. And now checking out my second binder. And this one is kind of my I guess my bulk binder. So I try to keep one of every V I've pulled in here that I haven't either traded away or lost. So again, the binder's kind of sticking up, so it'll be pretty difficult to show you guys, but there you go. So I have them in order by type. I know I do for the Vs, and I don't know if I actually did it for some of the other V stars and V maxes in here, but again, I'll do a nice pan over. A lot of them are just regular Vs, but still pretty nice in here. That Luxray card I really do like. Now I see it put some weight on it. It's a little easier to stand up. So again, more Vs in here. A lot of stuff that's doubles. Nothing too crazy in the Vs. I do really like that Diog card from Astral. And then, so these, this is the end of our Vs here. And then after this is where stuff kind of gets, starts to get a little crazy. And now flipping over here, this is where I have one of every trainer gallery card I have pulled. So as you guys can see, I have Zekrom up there, Roserade, Pikachu, Gengar, like anything you can think of, I probably have it on these pages. And it doesn't end here. On the final page, I have some more from, uh, I believe, Crown Zenith up there, the Brilliant Stars Jolteon, the Evil Soul Rock that I actually just, Tristan just beat me with, but I did, I was able to keep them. I have the nice Gudra card down here, another Mil Tank, and then over here is where we're going to get into our VMAXs, and I do not have actually a lot of VMAXs now that I think about it. I have Heatran, Set to Scorch, Garbodor, the Glaceon I pulled recently out of Evolving Skies, and then another one of the Orbital Trainer Galleries. And then one of my favorite pages in here, the V-Stars, and I do have a lot of them, a lot of couple doubles, but uh, it's mostly from Lost because I've opened so much of it. And then again, I'll just go a little pan over all the Lucarios from the ETB, uh, Arceus V-Star in there too. And now we're gonna start to get into the even crazier stuff. So again, a whole page of Radiance here, a couple duplicate that I need to take out and actually swap out with some cards I do know I, st I am gonna pull soon, hopefully, like that Charizard and the Charge Bug from uh, Crown Zenith. But yeah, cool Radiance in there. And now we're gonna be onto the Full Art Trainers in here. So the Professor's Research from the, I believe it is the Professor Juniper box, where you get that one from. The Candace from Silver Tempest. Volo, I believe Choi, Misfortune Sisters. And these two big cards that Tristan actually gave me in here. Or well, I guess not gave me, but you know, he pulled them and beat me with them again in the last video. So make sure you guys go check that out. And then pulling over to these pages, we now get into the full art. So again, I have two Gudras, a Raichu, Gallade, and honestly, I love that card. For the regular full arts, just the artwork on that one and how shiny it is and just bright is so awesome. Decidueye, Virizion, 
Aerodactyl, Glaceon, and then the uh, Zapdos I bought from the flea market as well. And now scooting over to probably one of the most valuable pages in my binder, the alternate arts. So we have the Duraludon I opened in the Costco video, a Charizard I bought from, I believe it was the also the flea market. I bought a lot of singles from the flea market. This one, which I did not show off, but I think I did post on my Instagram. So if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, at NateCollectsTCG, you would have seen this Zoroark V-Star card. So that one's pretty cool, that alternate art, along with the Raikou. And then I believe the other one is the uh, Crobat, again, from Lost Origins. And then on to one of the last pages here it's all of the gold cards this one is from i believe oh i'm skipping my mind now chilling rain i've seen so many card sets today i have another mew along with a v guard energy and then the gyarados secret rare from breakpoint in there then over here i have some miscellaneous cards from like black and white one of them my favorites actually is this ev ex here i remember pulling that when i was really young so i'm happy to still know i have that card in my collection Ampharos ex a couple break cards the dragapult from a collection box a couple of the team rocket cards one of them this one is actually from evolutions and then this one is from celebrations and i have a couple old cards in here which i was able to actually dig up a little bit ago so i have the for alligator here and it's even got like one of the levels on it so you can tell if it can focus it is one of the level cards so that is pretty neat along with the back page here which is kind of where everything ends and this is one of the latios and if any one of you guys know can you tell me which set this latios is from and as well as the electrode and the torterra card and then the final page in the binder skipping all the way to the back is my prize page and this is all of my set cards that I do own and as you guys know he is my favorite Pokemon so again you can check those all out my favorite probably being either this EX full art or the mega EX full art pretty cool and then the final thing to show off today is what I have in this little deck box here and I'm not gonna show off every single one because also I'm kind of one-handed right now with the camera but it is a bunch of other duplicate V's if I can get it out it is a bunch of other duplicate V's that I have and you guys are gonna go nuts that I have unsleeved in here I just don't I haven't slept sleeved a lot of the V's just because I have so many of them and I know they're not that valuable and then behind that is more radiance as they're falling out everywhere trainer galleries it's just all the doubles i have that i just don't have really a home for and i don't feel like putting in the binder so yeah as you can see they all kind of live out of the deck box Ooh. so anyways guys that has been the video i hope you guys enjoyed checking out my collection and uh yeah so the announcement that i wanted to make is this weekend i will be going to a card store that's a little bit of a drive away from me but i was there the other weekend and i noticed they had the giratina v alternate art and now as you guys have known if you've watched the channel for a little bit i've struggled to pull this card forever every lost origins thing i've opened i've mentioned it and haven't pulled it this weekend my plan is to take all the cards that i just showed off potentially trade away most of them enough hopefully to get enough value to actually trade one for one or i guess not one for one one for probably a couple hundred but one for a trade for that giratina alternate art and i'm going to bring you guys along with me to check it out and hopefully i'll be able to get my most expensive card ever but anyways guys stay tuned for that video and i hope you enjoyed this one so anyways that has been another episode of nate collects hope you guys enjoyed and stick around for the next one and i will see you guys in the next one peace